hi friends welcome to tablet tutor channel in this video i will show you how to write calculation to display last n months data using parameter right click and choose create calculated field naming the calculation as last n months so i am going to use uh, two functions mainly here date trunk so which truncates the date to a specified date part so if i give month as date part and give order date so you will see all the dates coming to the starting day of the month so this one returns a new date that is with the beginning of uh, beginning date of each month comma date trunk going to give month as date part and today so today is second jan uh, 2021 so this calculation returns 1 jan 1st jan 2021 because it will this date trunk function will truncate date to the specified date part that is month so and then i am going to find the difference of these two calculations that is date diff so date diff function gives you the difference of two date fields so if you mention uh, day as date part then you will get difference in number of days if you give month as date part you will get number of months difference between this date and this date okay so and I will just add min to avoid the aggregation of value min. so let me see the output drag the order date to the rows right click and choose month and change it to discrete drag this calculation to the text so if you see we have a zero for the current month january so we are going to display last n months data um, so we are going to restrict if the value is less than zero so let me write the condition it should be greater than or equal to zero that is the one condition and less than some value so it should be less than if i give less than three and click ok so we will get uh, three months so january december november though you have given less than Three, you will get three months because zero one two three so zero one two so three months we will get so instead of three we will uh, pass the parameter here so for that let me create a parameter right click and choose create parameter name the calculation as choose number of months okay and then change the data type to integer so by default i will give current value as 5 and then click ok right click and edit and instead of 3 let me pass the parameter here choose in number number of months okay and then click ok so now uh, drag this calculation to the filter and select true only so now you have uh, uh, last five months of data right click and show parameter control so you can drag and uh, drop the measure onto the columns to see the visualization let me swap the rows change the bar okay so now you got uh, five columns which means five months of data beginning from current month to last five months so if you give 10 you will get 10 months data displayed in the view I hope this calculation is helpful to you uh, if you like this video please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to my channel for latest videos thank you for watching